Hey guys, today's topic of the video is going to be about an important part of a poem, The Wasteland, which is Burial, The Burial of the Dead, written by a modernist and imagist poet, uh, the T.S. Eliot. But before starting, I will suggest you to subscribe to this channel and also, also uh, uh, follow us on Instagram so that you can get all the literary updates from there. So in this video, we will be discussing the introduction, poem text, analysis, summary by line to line, uh, explanation, and literary devices used and style in this poem. So, um, so starting with the introduction of the poem. Introduction throughout the five sections of this poem. There are first five sections of this poem. First is the burial after death. Second, third, and these the first three and the last one is uh, available on my channel. Links will be discussed will will be given in a description below. And I am making the fourth part of the wasteland. Uh, what the thunder said, and I will upload that in this month. So. Uh, throughout the five sections of this poem, there is a multiple shifting speaker and the themes of war, trauma, delusion and death. The burial of the dead is the fifth section of the wasteland and one of the important works of the 20th century. It is an important modernist poem published in 1922. It is edited by Ezra Pound uh, and written by T.A. Siliot who was an American poet, critic, and essayist. The poem is written to describe the devastating effect of the World War I. So, moving towards the explanation, line by line. Let's start. Uh, starting with stanza 1, April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memories and desires, stirring dill roots with spring rain. Winter kept us warm, covering earth in forgetful snow, feeding a little life with the dry tubers. Explanation April A which brings uh, which brings spring season in the cruelest month because it breeds lilacs from the dead land. Dead land is the land which is covered with the ice in the winter season. Spring season is a season which mixes memories and desires by adding life to the dead roots with its rain. People in the wasteland like winter season because they, they like winter seasons because it keeps them warm and it covers the earth with the snow and under the earth the dried roots and the feeding themselves. So the dried roots are feeding themselves. So that's the first stanza. Uh, so moving towards the second stanza, the summer surprises coming over the Stran Stranberg Sea with a shower of rain. We stopped, we stopped in the colonnade and went on in sunlight into the half garden and, the, and drank coffee and talked for an hour. Explanation, the summer surprises the wastelander, the people of the wasteland, which comes from the uh, strand bird disease uh, and brings drain. T.S. Eliot sets the first scene of the wasteland saying, when it was raining, they stops in the colonnade and, and when the rain ended, they walked to the half garden and had coffee and talked for an hour. Moving towards the third stanza, which is starting with some German lines, um, Bin Karl Kind of Sins, them ask Lieutenant Ich Deicht, and when we were children, staying in the Archduke's, my cousin, he took me out on a sled and I was frightened. He said, Marie, Marie Holland died and down we went in in the summer mountains there you feel free I read much of the light of the night and goes out in the winter so moving towards the explanation of this stanza the third part of the stanza is given in German Marie said that she 
she was not russian at all so that's the translation of the of the german part which is mummy said it's it's, it's a saying by mummy mummy saying that she is not a russian at all she had came from Lithuania and was a German. Marie further said that when they were children and were living at the Archduke house, her cousin took her outside and sled on a sled and vehicle, which is a vehicle, and a vehicle which rides over the snow. So she was frightened and her cousin asked her to hold him tight. and they both went down the mountains and it was place where one felt free and she used to study at nights in winter and they would go to the south so moving towards the fourth stanza uh, what are the roots that clutch my branches grow out of the stony rubbish son of man you cannot say or guess for you know only a heap of broken images where the sun beats and the dead tree gives no shelter and the and the cricket no relief moving towards the explanation of this stanza the poet shows here the um, here so the poet shows here the second scene of the wasteland which is about the modern civilization of the wasteland the scene starts from a question that what kind of roots will grow in the in the stony and fertile land he addresses jesus christ that he cannot imagine that life is a collection of broken images where no plants grow and dead trees give no shelter and no sounds of cricket to give relief so moving towards the fifth stanza and the dry stone no sand on of water only there is shadow over this red rock come in under the shadow of this red rock and i will show you something different from either you shadow your shadow at morning striding behind you and your shadow at the evening rising to meet you i shall show you fear in a dustful huh? in a, in, the, in the dust of in a handful of dust so um the explanation there is a kind of spiritual thirst thirst in this uh in the, in the stanza there is only one shadow and it is the christian church people living there have only one shelter and that is of region and the poets uh, sh- will show us that the, the poet will show us the different kind of shadows one shadow is what appears in the morning and which appears behind us one shadow is the shadow of death and that appears in the evening and the poet says and the poet says that he will show us the, that that you fear which will remain with us forever either it will be the shadow of death or the shadow of uh, the of morning which is behind us so moving towards the sixth stanza fresh wet dwin jhamaj zu mai nirish kind wo walesh du so moving towards the explanation of this the german line which is given in this poem these lines are in german and taken from tristan and is sold by richard wagner's uh, writings which is performed in an opera in 1865 so that's a play tristan and is solid uh, so the translation of these lines is um is the wind is blowing fresh my home to my irish child where are you lingering these are the lines which are uttered by the sailor at departure so these are the lines um i have done this so um so moving towards the seventh stanza you give me a hyacinth first a year ago they called me the hyacinth girl yet when we came back late from the hyacinth garden you are full and you have your hair here wet i could not speak you ma and my eyes failed i was neither living my nor dead and i knew nothing looking into the heart of light the silence oh i do lee oh it only lear them 
does mirror so explanation of this again the last and the last line is coming in german so uh, a poem uh, a woman says that uh, some times ago someone gave her hyacinth flower and people used to call her the hyacinth girl because he she was having hyacinth flowers and when uh, we came back from the hyacinth garden we should speak we couldn't speak and hear anything and she was neither dead or alive nor alive because of her beloved love for her um and she wasn't in her senses and she was looking at her heart of light which was silent the last line in german language which means dull and empty in the sea so moving towards the eighth stanza uh, madame sosostris famous a uh, clear wine uh clear wine um had a bad cold nevertheless in is known to be the wisest woman in europe with a wicked pack of cards here she said is your card the don phoenician sailor those are pearls that were in eyes look so the so this moving towards the explanation the scene is about madame madame to sastras she who is a famous fortune teller and is suffering from cold nevertheless she is still a very famous woman in europe and she has a bag of cards which tells the fortune uh, and she has not withdrawn a card upon which the picture of john phoenician sailor the last line is taken from the last line those are the pearls that were his eyes look so they this line is taken from the shakespeare's play the tempest and it says a sailor after drowning and the boys of eyes became pearl so i have also made a video on a tempest i will provide the link in the description below so the 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 so the um so phoenician sailor is mentioned here it is also mentioned in the last uh, section of this wasteland which is the uh, the death the death by water so it's the same story of the phoenician steel sailor if you want to know more about the phoenician steel sailor um i will provide the link in the description below about the death by water so in ninth stanza here is belladonna the lady of rocks the lady of situation here is a man with three staffs with three staves and here the wheels and here is a one eyed merchant and this card which is blank in something the carries and he carries on his back which i am forbidden to see i do not find the hanged man fear death by water i see crowds of people walking around in the rain thank you if you see dear mrs uh, equiton tell her i bring the horoscope myself one must be so careful these days so explanation of this stanza the last card which is withdrawn by her is of bella donna and the photos of mona lisa is made on the card she would draw many cards for the man with three staves uh, the wheels etc a cards for the one eyed merchant who carries things on his back is blank and the madam madam so sorceress cannot foretell anything about it about him so madam 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 so sorceress say that that she has not yet found the card of jesus christ this line shows the lack of spirituality in the wasteland this is also a card for the people who are afraid of drowning she can see the card of many people who works walks in the city of daily routine jobs but aimlessly like a circle she says her client that she will bring horoscope to tell her fortune but madam is is it is care madam is careful about her illegal job of fortune telling so that was its analysis moving towards the 10th stanza the second last part 
the unreal city under the brown fog of the winter dawn dawn a cloud flooded flowed over the london bridge so many i had not thought that had undergone so many sight shots and infrequent were exiled exhaled and each man fixed his eyes before his feet flowed up the hill and down king william street to where since mary wool wool not kept the hours where with a dead sound on the final stroke of nine explanation the poet says that this unreal city in london is london in which many people pass under the bridge in the foggy season he called the city a hell the london city a hell and there are voices of the soul there are not living people but the voices of the soul and every person is looking downward like hollow men the crowd passes from the bridge and reaches at kings william street where they move towards saint mary woolnot church and where the clock to on the tower strikes 9 and which is a very painful sound for the people because they have to get up for the work so moving towards the last part of this uh, video stanza 11 there i saw one new i knew and i stopped him crying stetson are uh, you are you who were with me in the ship at mylay the corpse you planted last year in your garden had it begin to sprout will it bloom this year or has a sudden fog disturbs it bad oh keep the the dog for hands its friend to men or with his nails he will dig it up again you hypocrite lecture mon sem sem bevel nor fair so i am pronouncing things badly in french and i afraid i am doing that Uh, explanation um eliot says that in the crowd he meets a man who he knows he calls him uh, stetson and says that he is the exact man who was who was his war companion um in at milay and he planted crops last year in his garden whether it is grown or destroyed by the sudden winter he doesn't know about that he must keep dog away from the garden who are the man's friend um, or he will destroy it by his own nails the last line is uh, the last line is written in french language which is um, which is taken from french poet uh, charles baudelaire poem the his poem that uh, to the, the the poem's name is to the reader and it translate as hypocrite brother my likeness my brother so thanks for watching i hope you like or dislike this video also comment in the comment box for further inquiry and do subscribe to this channel if you like this video thank you